Hey, what's up? Part 33 of my community site series. Um, I've noticed a couple of problems with the um, profile comments. Um, and the first and foremost we have to address is the fact that people can post without being logged in, uh, which I completely forgot about. Um, so we're going to fix that problem with just a really, really small bit of code. Um, so we have the profile page open here. You scroll down to where we have our display comment form and we're going to start an if statement and we're going to say if username so that'll make it so they have to be logged in and after our form we need to put in our end um, end curly brackets and make sure you have everything proper and correct we upload that so that'll fix the problem um, and uh, later on I'm going to wipe out all the comments in the database um, because yeah um, so the other thing that I've noticed is that or something that I thought about is that um, all the comments will be displayed on one page so say a user has 50 comments on their profile then all 50 of those comments would be displayed on the same page which we definitely don't want so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of uh, some pagination magic and um, we're going to make it so we display maybe 10 or so per page and then uh, we'll have some simple navigation to make it so it'll load different um, comments so yeah so we need to put, um, get some variables which you have we we're, we need to get variables and these are going to be uh, by the get method um, so let's call them um, per page, and this one is just going to be um, a set number, which I'm going to say for now is 10. Uh, that's going to be the number we're going to display per page, obviously, because the name is per page. So the other variable we need is a, uh, a start variable, and this is going to be our get. So we'll be able to get it from the browser URL. And let's name it. Let's just name it S to keep a short, a nice short URL. So we're just gonna name it S. Um, now, what you want to do is you want to say if or no, if um, question or exclamation mark dollar sign start. So if there's no start declared, then we want to set start equal to zero. So it'll start at the very beginning and it will uh, just show comments like normal so after we have those what we want to do is we want to go inside of our uh, if statement here right above our while loop and the reason we're coming down here is because we need this numrows um, variable right there so we're gonna set two variables and we're just gonna name the first one next and this is going to be Start plus, or no, uh, actually, yeah, it is uh, plus, and then we want to say our per page variable. So that's going to give us um, a next variable that will make it so we'll display the next set of comments. Uh, we're also going to need a previous variable, and we're going to set that to um, start minus per page. So those will make it so we can get um, a next and previous button or link of some sort. Um, and then after that, we just want to put another line, and we're going to put in an oops, I don't want a capital E. We're going to put in an echo statement, and this is just going to actually I don't want this up here. Um, this echo statement is going to give us our next and our previous. So if we echo it right here, it'll show all the way at the top here, and I want it to show at the bottom. So I'm just going to cut that out, and leave the variables there, and we want to come um, all the way down here after we would display our form, and we're just going to say um, show comment nav, so show comment navigation and we have our echo. So this is going to be a div um, and we're going to give it a style of 
uh, float and we're going to float this to the right side and for now that's all and then let's put in another echo and this is just going to be our end div tag and I'll put in a comment here um, and comment box Oops. box yeah so inside of our uh, these two echo statements right here uh, we're gonna put in an if statement and we're gonna say exclamation mark and then another set of parentheses and inside of here we're gonna say dollar sign start whoops, is less than equal to um, zero and then we want to put in an echo and this echo, whoops, this echo is going to be a link and we'll set the href in a second but inside of here we want to put um, pre prev or if you want you can say previous um, so this is going to be our previous link and if the link is going to be to our site profile question mark ID equals and our get ID and then we want to say and an and sign s equals um, dollar sign prev so our, our previous variable so that's going to give us our previous link and then we're going to put in another if statement after it saying a very similar thing so question mark then another set of parentheses and we want to say start is greater than or equal to um, num rows minus um, our per page variable. Oops, that needs to be variable, not text. And then we're going to echo. And if you want, you can copy and paste the link, not the link, or yeah, the link code right there. Uh, but I'm just going to type it in again. And a a href equals, um, and this is going to be say next. And the link is going to be site slash profile question mark id equals get id um, and sign um, s equals and this is going to be our next variable so pretty simple pretty pretty simple um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload this um, and I'm going to click refresh but it's not going to show anything because we only have on my profile there's only two comments um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up and I'm going to set the per page to 1 and then I'm going to re-upload it and if I refresh you can see we now have our next variable so our next variable is being shown um, but it's kind of cutting into here and if you look at the link it says s equals 1 so it would start at the 1 um, now but because we haven't changed our actual query itself um, it's not going to do anything right now. So, uh, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to fix this because it's showing like that. Um, let's see. Hmm. I'm going to copy all of the code for our comment nav. I'm going to cut it out, get rid of these extra spaces, and I'm going to paste it right above our form. And then re-upload, refresh, and it's up here now. So it'll say next, and if previous is necessary, it'll show previous. So what we want to do now is we want to scroll up to where we have our query, and after we have our um, descending code, we want to say limit and then we want to say our start variable whoops that needs to be lowercase start comma space and then our per page whoops per page there we go so
So that'll make it so we can actually show only a certain number per page. <coughs> we'll refresh it. So now, after this reloads, so I finish uploading. So now we're only showing one per page. Um, but it would seem that our buttons, our link's not being shown. And why is that? Okay, um. Okay, so I found the problem. Um, and it's in our start area to where we show our next and previous vari variables. Um, we want to get rid of the equal signs. Or just the, uh, second one. What do we want the first one? I don't know. Um, yeah, we wanted to just get rid of the second equal sign, and then if we re-upload, and if we refresh the page, we now have our next link being shown. If we click it, you can see it takes us to the top of our page, which we don't want. So what we're going to do, and you can see it is showing um, the link, and we have our previous now. We can click previous, and it takes us back and to show the other ones. Um, but what we wanted to do is we wanted to put it at the top of this so we'll see all the comments starting from um, and everything in our box. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll up to too far, no not too far, um, up here where we have this code. This is the code to start our box. Um, right before it I'm going to put in anchor tags and I'm going to say A um, name equals and this is going to be comments and then I'm scroll back down and where we have our links here I'm gonna put in a pound symbol and then I'm gonna say comments so this will take us back down to the part of the page where our comments actually are so if we re-upload and we refresh and you can see there it has it in the bottom um, down here it'll show it we click next it changes it and it doesn't appear to reload the entire page it's just that it loads it really fast um, so that is working okay so that's working um, what we want to do now is we want to set our per page variable um, back up to 10 or whatever you want it to be and then re-upload and that takes care of all of it um, so now we'll be showing 10 per page and if there are less than 10 it won't even show the next and previous links um, so that's kinda nice um, so that's pretty much all of that um, and this it will be the end of video 39 um, I have I'm starting to include the SQL files for the databases to create the tables obviously not the data that's stored in the tables um, but actually real quick what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna empty the profile comments database table so there will, not, there will now not be any profile comments um, and that's because some of them um, were posted with people who weren't logged in so that will remove them all so um, this is the end of the video